Hi guys and welcome to the patch 9.17.1 test server with El Nietzsche Gamer. Today we're going to have a quick look at in the garage at three of the new tanks that are coming into the game in the next patch. It's a slight rejigging of the German heavy tech tree if we have a look here. Whereas at the moment you currently have two German heavies, you have the mouse and the E100. Under the new tech tree, going through the Tiger P, it will now split into two lines, one of which leads up to the mouse with two new tanks smacked in there. The VK100, well, 10,001P, however you want to say it, 100.01P, and the Maoschen. And then on the other line, as you can see there, after the 4502B, we'll have the Panzerkampfwagen 7, or 7 if you want to say it in German. So we're going to have a quick look at these guys in the garage and then we are going to take out the 101P, have this thing, the new tier 8 and we're going to see how we do. So taking a look at the tanks first, you've got the tier 8 here which as you can see looks a bit like a, looks like they overly enlarged the Tiger 2 turret in a way and stuck it on top of the small mouse hull. This thing is pretty slow but it's got 200 mils of frontal armor on the hull, 220 on the turret. The turret is nice and rounded and the hull is very well sloped there. So the effective thickness is somewhere around that's about 45 degrees so that's somewhere around the 260 mark on the top. I don't know the figure for the bottom. The side of the turret is sloped as well, not horribly but it's 160 mils thick but it does have this commander's hatch up here which is quite a big target turret armor at the side the hull armor at the side 130 slightly sloped and at the back you've got 120 and 140 respectively so yeah the gun on this thing is pretty good it's got a 128 gun as the top gun with 220 millimeters penetration which isn't bad for a tier 8 and a pretty good alpha damage of 490. With 100% crew and fitted with gun rammer and improved vents, this has a reload time of just over 15 seconds, which isn't too bad, giving you a rate of fire of just under four rounds a minute. So a DPM of somewhere in the region of 2000, a little under, which isn't bad at all for a big slow heavy tank has reasonable penetration up to 250 meters and then it starts to drop off although at 500 meters it isn't bad and the APCR has a optimal penetration of 250. High explosive only has 65 millimeters penetration but does do reasonable damage with an okay burst radius but I wouldn't recommend it personally. Just realized that the average damage per minute is actually sat there at 1936. Mobility wise this thing is rather slow with the 20 km an hour top speed but 15 km an hour reverse speed means you're going to get away from tanks just about as fast in reverse as you would driving forwards. So if you get into a spot of bother just reverse and do what you can. Now we're going to try and jump into a game and see how we can play this thing. Okay, so here we are in Ruinburg in a tier 8 match, which as you can see from the team list is mainly filled with new tier 8 tanks and premiums, with one lonely KV2 who's been dragged into a tier 8 match with the team. Let's get this show on the road. So, we're a heavily armoured top tier heavy, so I'm going to do the top tier heavy job of going down and fighting with all the other almost identical heavily armoured top tier heavies down in the centre of the team. Along with all of our, yep, you guessed it, heavy armor at the top of the heavens. So we'll wait and see what happens. Looks like they might be pushing the field rather than the town, but we'll see. As you can see, this thing does manage to maintain its top speed, or rather, mediocre top speed, 20 kilometers an hour. It's about the wrong road to the road. To the road. I'm not going to fire the premium ammunition unless I'm 
as a hack to win this. I try not to on the best server, even though everyone else does. And there you can see, snap that shot off. I was lucky that connected, but if I was to put it in the shot, try and angle myself up to There we go, took a bounce off the IS6 and 510 damage that connected. As you can on this, if your angle is nicely, it's nice and bouncy. And as you can see, if I aim there, the kind of curl does not seem to be much of a weak spot. Not quite to the armor thickness indicator. So if you get a shot past my eye, you can traverse it out in front of me. Struggling to get through there, so I need to go as a fired. Next, I'm try and push up a little bit. Just got shot in the ass by one of my own team, which is a uh, usual test server. We're all jockeying for position there, so I'm going to leave that flank to them. There's enough of the fighting at the moment. I'm going to come down here and see what we can do. Help me out. Too bad if you're trying to turn around and keep a target lock. I guess the tank lock without this gun has no problem at all. It seems to be relatively accurate for a big heavy tank gun, but it's never going to be as accurate as some guns in the game. Oh, that hurts, I reckon that was a thing on the mission because this thing has more frontal armor than that has penetration, so I'm just going to. Sit here, and there we go. Help tap on my own. Finish him off. Oh, there's another tank up there. Doesn't need to pay attention. Just angle up here and wait for him to hopefully come round. Can't be sure there. I'm going to try and move all the way to the second side. I've not got much health left, but. I think we're okay. Everything seems to be closed up 
behind it at the moment, so I've got a bit of backup here for one of the other 100 01s. So let's see what we can do. The window first is going to be more cow. Look, 4503 treating. And we'll just shave a thousand kind of off in, in a few seconds. Just trying to get into the here. Advantages of the 105 gun on this is an increased rate of fire at cost of reduced penetration, but we'll see what we can do. If we can get a shot into this guy. So we both managed to fluff that one. He has better rate of fire than this. So all I can do is try and hold him off, but he had enough penetration to get around me there, and looks like we might actually lose this one. As the enemy 101 did manage to take out my one of my two remaining allies. So now it's one versus one. But what we're going to do is we're going to just skip to the results and see how this match played out when we get to the end. Okay, so here's the results. Unfortunately, that was a defeat, as it was the remaining tank on the enemy team. Our remaining ally here did manage to set himself up in a reasonable position, but the captain closer, or have you said, managed to flank around behind him. Before he could react, he did get taken out. But looking at the detailed report, I did a little shy of 3,000 damage. 14 shots fired, most of them hit, so that's not too bad. Did block a reasonable amount of damage by armor, and even though I didn't do a huge amount of damage and did die and lose that match, I did still come out with a slight profit. It was a second class mastery, but you can expect to get the mastery badges quite easily on the test server, at least sort of second or third class, because Lots of people jump on, jump into tanks they've never played that tier before. But anyway, that's our look today at the VK1001P, the new tier 8 coming in the next patch. We will have a look at this in a forthcoming video, the Maoshin or Mini Mouse. I have done a preview video of this before when it first came onto a test server a few patches ago. But it had a 15 centimeter gun there, and now it only has these two 12.8s. And we will also be taking a look at this, the brand new tier 10, the Panzerkampfwagen 7, or Panzer 7, if you want to call it that, which is similar to the 4502s, in that it has a rear mounted turret, so. That'll be an interesting one to come across when we get to it. It's mounted with quite a nice 128 gun, but more on that when we come to that video. Hope you enjoyed the video today, looking at the 101P. Please let me know if you did. Um, if you didn't, let me know what I could do better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you might like to subscribe to the channel, catch my upcoming videos. Anyway, that's it for today. Take care and I will catch you next time.